walking along the beach, picking up some shells. I don't ever keep anything that's alive. Sometimes things don't make it, even if they had an animal in them. This is a conch. As you can see, his live body is sticking out, the conch. So he is no longer alive. So I'll pick him up as well as this one. The conch part is no longer with us. As you see, there's several of these. I'm calling them conchs, but they're actually whelks. really big pretty shells out here on the beach. It's a beautiful day. We've got the beach to ourselves. Except for the birds. Pelicans are enjoying the water. himself getting some much needed relaxation. Got a starfish here. It's got some of his legs a little broken. And also over here have a small sand dollar. And as I said earlier, typically I would not keep anything ever that is alive, but both of these have passed on. They've been out of the water too long. Here's another starfish, guys. Like I said, he's no longer living. All right, for those of you guys who have never seen a hermit crab in the wild, that's what this little fella is in the conch shell. A little whelk. He's just roaming around in this little puddle. Got another live little hermit crab. He's searching all around that conch. A little teeny one over there. Bubbles. Something's under there. Another fella coming to join the party. This is just a small version of that bigger shell. There's an olive shell. You can see he's upside down, so nothing living in him anymore. I'm gonna pick him up. I already had one myself that I had picked up a few moments ago before I started videoing for you guys. You can see we've left piles of shells. I've left several up along the bank as well to pick up on our way back out. Have our little wagon. Shelly's pulling along for us, picking up things. Phillip's done found him a walking stick. and got him some lunch and off to the next spot. Another hermit crab just wandering around the little tide pools. A 
little bigger than the ones I was showing you earlier. You can see the size of just a few of these conks out here. You can see my foot in comparison. Shelly and I, Shelly and I have picked up a wheelbarrow full. Don't know what we're gonna do with all these. Let the grandkids play with them, all the girls. Look at the size of these scallop shells. They're huge out here. You know it's hard to compare to size with nothing to compare it to. When you can see my foot there compared to it. It's wider than my foot. Plenty of conch shells out. There's a broken one there. Come across these and I'm gonna kind of show you what you see see this one here is all the way out of the water I mean all the way out of the sand and you can see it's just filled with mud and things from being out you can see how beautiful it is on the inside nice big whelk shell conk and I'm gonna show you this one Pull him up out of the sand. Pump his mud out. See how big he is as well. That's like the ones we piled up all around. Got lots of mud and shells in him. No living animals though, so we're gonna take this one home and put him under the steps with the hundreds of others we have. Type of vertebrae. Definitely gonna have to look this up. Feel sure we can ask our good buddy Mike Harris and he can tell us what it is without a second thought. As I'm talking to you guys, I see this beautiful sand dollar right here. I'm gonna pick that up as well. They're very fragile, so hopefully it'll make it back home. As you can see as I'm walking, there's actually lots of conch shells. really pretty. His back's broken. Two there. And you can see what I mean by the conch has passed away. You can see the conch. Oh, actually that one's alive. You see him draw back in a little bit. We'll take him down to the water's edge and put him back in. Hopefully he can survive. We're there two there, one, two, three, four, five, right there, six, I mean just within, seven, just within a few steps, so we're just looking for anything abnormal now, we've got bucket loads of conch, whelk, there's lots of different kinds of conch, this particular type is actually a whelk. Most of us here in South Carolina call it a conch. This one's got the real conch in it as well. We'll see if this one's alive at all. We'll take him back. See he's not moving at all. So he's actually passed on. This one the same thing. Oh, he's drew back up a little bit. I'm gonna take him back to the water with this one. All right, and as I brought these back to the water, I actually found another one on my way down to the little tide pool. And as I went to put these back in, I saw these big beauties here. You can see the size compared to those small ones I was just showing you. So I'm gonna pull these up and they're buried in the sand so far. I'm assuming neither one of them have anything in them as far as anything alive. And the hermit crab, I don't believe, get this size. As you can see, he's empty. And even though we have, like I said, tons of them, these big ones are hard to leave here. So 
So I'm going to put them with my pile. Alright guys, I think these four guys here are about to do a transfer. What happens is as the hermit crabs get larger inside the shell they're in, they will find an empty shell that's a little bigger and transfer over to it. I think we got a few. I got another stack up there by one of those logs, Oliver. Huh? You got what? Another stack. <laughs> Alright, I think we got a few.